Since the English language has been acknowledged as a lingua franca, the principal medium of communication among people across the, the world and scientific community included, it can be inferred that English is empowered to serve as a model for presenting written and oral scientific discourse at various levels and strata. This task of English has become of great significance in view of ever-increasing academic contact and dissemination of scientific information all over the world. During the course, we'll discuss a few key topics, the sound of your written voice, some fundamentals of grammar and vocabulary, and the hit list of arbitrary peeves uh, that I hope will spark some reflection on your own writing and it will inspire you to read some great books on how to write a publishable scientific article. The course uh, will help you develop uh, an awareness of what academic writing is or what scientific writing is. It will teach you some core writing strategies that will enable you to prepare a manuscript using the Emirate format. But what makes a good writer? First, having something new or having something to say logical and clear thinking, and a few simple, learnable rules of style, the rules that I will teach you during the course. In 1974, clinical physiologist Dennis Upper found himself stricken with writer's block. Though pen was to paper, no words would flow. He decided to solve this uh, problem with a scientific experiment. Yet, as is frequently the case in science, the experiment didn't work as, as, he, as the scientist expected. Despite the failure, his work, The Unsuccessful Self-Treatment of a Case of Writer's Blog, was published in the prestigious journal of uh, behavioral analysis. It's the reproduction of its entire work. Uh, this example shows that clear, effective writing is really hard, but it can be learned and this course will prove it. So I wish you success and I hope the time that you are going to spend learning the material of the course will be worthwhile.